the criminal lawyer who frees guilty mur- what? Jailma. I suit that they've committed I don't murder. know how to read. Yeah. <laughs> what if you had a client that went on to commit mass murder? Then they call me. <laughs> Why you do that smile I'm like that? With assault on family member. Assault. Buying a girl. Doing a killer. Indecent exposure. Playing with my junk in front of a lady. A sexual assault for a child. And uh, how much prison time are you looking at? 10 years, bro. 10 years. 20 years for each prescription. So that's over 100 years. And why am I the best lawyer? You got my case dismissed. This, this is Jay Oma, a criminal defense attorney keeping supervillains accused of the worst crimes imaginable out of prison and back onto the streets of Houston, Texas. Man, you got my case dismissed. You got my case Hold on, hold on. Is case he like that? Three counts of murder? Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know Jay Oma was like that. Y'all about to see it. First time I seen him was on GD on stream. Right I didn't know he was like that. Where do I go? Everybody can be charged with that. You can be charged with that. Uh, what were you charged with? Terroristic threat. Terroristic threat? All right, so, um, you know, you're looking up to 20 years in prison on this case. But how does he manage to keep all of these alleged criminals yeah. out of jail? Yeah, Why that's what I'm... Every day to protect these people in the court of law. Dude, what are you doing back here? Well, yeah, well, I know why he's fighting it, bro. He's probably getting that bread. He getting paid for that. I don't know, man. I don't know if a dude is to my head, like, and she poke me in my head. Can yeah, I really get out of three feet? I'm talking about those hands. There's nothing wrong with defending yourself. It sounds like self-defense. He, he said it sounds like self-defense. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Is it nah. pleasure out of winning the impossible cases? Or is Jayoma fighting for something greater? The last 25 years of his life, much of it in prison, has all led up to this moment. The state of Texas versus Daniel Villegas. Number 940D09328. Verdict form B. We, the jury, find the defendant Daniel Villegas not guilty of. I'm an innocent man, Your Honor, and I have always been an innocent man. A grown man cry is different from like a fake cry. It's really like he's looking at 20 years. The attorney that was said, yes, he's first guilty. thing he said was, don't kill yourself. Oh. And then I uh, see every person who comes across my table is. Um, a person needs help. Yeah, don't snitch okay, on yourself. Back up top. Not snitch on yourself. I headed to the city of Houston to meet Jayoma at the Harris County Court, bustling with alleged criminals and their attorneys. How you doing, bro? It's a pleasure to meet you, man. To meet you a better call Jayoma had is actually insane. He's the best lawyer. Jayoma. <laughs> You're already in it right now. Yeah. So we're just gonna shadow you, see how this plays out. Are we gonna just follow you along? That's fine. So what do you have right here? Are you just assigned like 10 different cases per day? How does this work? You know, um, I agreed to jump onto these cases and whenever I try to jump on these cases, I try to kill. I love what I do. So it's never some type of work to me. This is all fun. All right, what do we got? All right, so you know you're charged with possession for controlled substance, uh, four grams to 200 grams, right? Yes, sir. All right, so um, you know you're looking up to 20 years in prison on this case. Allegations are that you had a years? girlfriend and that um, you punched her three times when she told you to exit. Not only that, but the cops said that they saw bruises on her left eye, they saw blood all over her face, and lip lacerations. So what I want to tell you is... Oh, that from three punches? There's no cameras in this shit, right? Nobody's recording this, right? right? Right to your recollection, nobody's recording it. There's no other witnesses, True. right? <laughs> right? It's her word against your word, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so you know what really happened? She attacked you. She Yo! You're accused of theft, and you're looking up to six months in Harris County Jail and a $2,000 fine. If the prosecutors are successful, that's what could happen to you. So my job is to try to prevent that from happening. So they're accusing you of stealing from Target. They're saying that you was taking some shit. Okay? Yeah. All right. So don't you say got her on camera too. Anything. But they're just accusing you of stealing. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. Dre, you know you, you had two charges with me, right? The first charge is felon in possession of a weapon, and you were looking at 20 years in prison for that case. You know that, right? And then the other uh, one is theft uh, of about between uh, 2500 uh, to. So times about five for one week. That's like 19k a month. I'm not probably off on the month. Too. I mean, the month is like times 30. So unless you don't. Oh, no, never mind. You said you work every Monday through Friday. What's that? Like five weeks, something for it. That's like times 20. So yeah, roughly 19. Yeah. Type shit. And then you, what? You only got like. A month or two left out there, and then you go back to Louisiana. Thirty thousand. You're looking at ten years in prison for that case. When you contact me, you were looking at what? Uh, Thirty years. Possession of marijuana. Since this is Texas, all right. Possession of marijuana. That ain't nothing. Two to four ounces. So you're looking up to uh, one year in Harris County Jail on a four thousand dollar fine. One year for bro. That's insane, bro. Like, bro, they might as well just go ahead and just make this legal, bro. That's insane, bro. So tell me what happened on that. 
like how the cops get to it? We all just chilling, right. but 13 people probably at the most. Right. We chilling outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm, me, personally, me, I'm sitting down eating, eating the plate, actually. Then they pull up by the cops. Like, yeah, cop cars did. Okay. They, all, they all get out and start grabbing people. I didn't move, I didn't run, I didn't do nothing. I'm thinking I have nothing on me, so I didn't move, I didn't do nothing. So I'm sitting down eating, boom. Do everybody else they running, everybody else they doing this, I'm still I'm still eating then. Like they had told me to get up. And when they told me to get up, like they just automatically, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Put me in behind handcuffs right. and how about this? Where were the where were the weed at? Where were the weed at? Yeah. Allegedly. Everybody threw their weed. So right. like Did they find any weed on your body? No, nah, none on my body. So they're saying that there's some weed that was around you and saying it was you? Yeah, basically. Okay. Listen to me. None of that weed was yours. They're saying that you was in a car. <laughs> he said, listen to me. None of that was yours. <laughs> Well, I'm staying here now for another three months. Oh, okay. Type shit. Mm -hmm. You're part of the black community. You gotta provide for each other. Send me like a hundred to me. You feel me? Type shit. And they said that the cop came up to you and they took you out of the car and you smelled like. Ezra, didn't you say fuck the black community um, yesterday? Alcohol. The cop. Just saying. I mean, I'm searching your pockets. They never asked for your consent, right? Never did, right? And I don't believe they even had a warrant to even check your pockets. Does that make sense? So that means the cop went in there just by himself. That to me is illegal. And what did they do? They uncovered oh. in the front left pocket. They okay, so nah, he he's good, bro. Oh, wait, hold on. He's bag. good. Right? And the white bag came back. I didn't even cocaine. think about that. Now I know in reality it's cocaine. Okay? However, the way that the cops got to that was illegal. Oh, um, failed that, that time. Try to follow your and case. this is an opportunity uh, for them to not fail. To try to suppress those drugs being, from being used this against time. you. If I can make those drugs go away in the courtroom, then this case should be dropped. So the deal that they have right now is... <laughs> it's funny. The deal that they have right now is to dismiss the drug case. The one that you're looking at 20 years. If you just take a plea on the DWI. Alright? So I, it's a good deal already. And... I think it's because of my name. I want to make sure that you know I that. I think it's because of my name. I don't name. care about you. I don't care about the court. I don't care about the judge. I don't care about the prosecutor. I don't care about witnesses. I wonder, like, what the judges, how the judges feel whenever it's like, damn, Jay, I'm on this case. Like, fuck, this nigga finna, like, like, he on our ass, bro. Like, I wonder if that's how they feel about this nigga. Like, all I care about is you. All right, so let me tell you. That's like stepping on a court and then you see the other team and then you see fucking LeBron, bro. You're just like, oh my God, bro. This is about to be a rough night. Like, <laughs> I wonder if that's how the judges feel about this uh, thing. You're charged with assault fan member, okay? That means you're looking at <laughs> up to a year. What the in fuck? In County Jail and a $4,000 fine. Wait, hold on, hold on. Y'all are finna turn this on me. Not only that, but Whoa. if there's a conviction, um, it could make Whoa. you a job. Let's or slow it down a minute. Your custody if you have kids. If you get any other future criminal charges, it may increase your punishment. It's very important that I fight this case. She attacked you. You know why she attacked you? It's because you're all in a loving, hating relationship, and she decided to punch you. In self-defense, you threw a punch at her. Does that make sense? I mean, just because you're a man, you had to do whatever you can to stop the threat. She was the threat. And I want you to put that in your head. It was self-defense. You acted in self-defense. We're gonna reset your case to a different date so I can get the evidence. And then I can really work that shit. What are you thinking about this case? What he really said happened? I can really, really work happened? that shit. It was what I say happened. She didn't steal. That's all it is. She didn't steal. So I want to tell you that I got your felony possession weapon yeah, dismissed. Alright? Yeah, oh. right? So you know longer, you're not no, looking no, at 20 no, years no, anymore. Right. 20 years is gone. Right. Alright, now we got one more. Yeah, and then so I told you about the other one, right? Yeah. Prosecutors are being a b about this, right? Yeah. And they want to sit it for trial, and I said, oh, let's sit it for trial. And they know what's up. The allegations are. This girl is saying that you stole her fucking car, right? That car was like $21,000. And she's saying that you said you were gonna bring it back, right? These are all her words. And then about a month later, car got into a crash and you were nowhere near that, all right? You were never driving that car. No, never, you know not she, at all. Yeah, she's making this shit up. Right. You know, because she don't want to pay that shit. She owe. And these prosecutors should know what I'm gonna do. The judge also knows too, because she looked at it. She goes, yeah. oh, we can do this shit in one day. Yeah. I'm, I'm ready for that. I know you is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Before I stepped into your case, the offer was three years. Three years yeah. for you to go to prison. Yeah. That was the offer. And I've never been and to now, prison. since you hired me, I got one of them dismissed. Right. And the other one's on the way to get dismissed too. Because you know I'm gonna do in trial, right? What are you gonna do? Tyson. Fucking, oh yeah, Mike Tyson then. That's it, it belongs to everybody else who ran. Okay? You know nah, I mean? this nigga's it insane. It was never on your body, never you were just eating. Uh, I lost my phone so again. you're not in possession fuck? of that marijuana at all. That's, uh, and you shouldn't be going to jail for something that other people do around you. How you right? keep losing a phone? It's not a crime to hang around with people. Right. So we think this is an easy dismissal or what? Yeah. The weed's a crime in Texas? Weed is, yeah, having possession of marijuana, yeah. In Texas. 
I didn't even know that. <laughs> but I mean, luckily you don't even smoke. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> come on. It's going through your head right now. Man, it's a lot of emotions, but I already know I got Jay Oma right by my side. I feel like I feel much more better and comfortable. And real quick, who's the best lawyer? Jay Oma, man. Jay Oma's the best lawyer. Alan, I'm, I'm hoping for you, man. What's going through your head right now? What's actually going through my head right now is that what he actually said is actually the absolute truth. You got a good lawyer. I'm gonna let you know that. Let's go back in there. We'll be in there, okay? Uh, Jamal could get a job in creative fiction. That was crazy. Dude pulled that straight out of his ass. <laughs> From punching his girl three times in the head, allegedly, to she attacked him. He needed to eliminate the threat. You can't make this stuff up, man. All right, D, who's the best That's lawyer? insane, bro. And why? Like, that's actually crazy, bro. Like, he hears these insane things that these people did, allegedly, and then he's just like, I mean, technically, it's his job. Technically, he's doing his job. Technically. He's doing his job. And, hey, they're calling him so that way they can get free. And, hey, bro, that's insane, though, bro. That's, that's crazy. Mike, Mike Tyson, what are you going to beat the case up? Before you hired Jailma, did you think you were going to go to jail for 50 years? They, they they was like, there's no way I'm not going to prison. What do you think the value of what Jailma did with your case here was? Yeah, freedom is priceless. Like, there's lively, my livelihood, so. And you know what the crazy thing is, bro? Like, I was, I was just thinking about how much it costs. Actually, let me look that up. The crazy thing is, I think that the best method, like, for him even doing that, is oh my god, couldn't be having off kill. Quickly ease up, uh, highly recommended to anyone contemplating a service. Jesus, it is not legit, and here is my evidence. Oh god, you got these niggas on fucking Reddit. Jesus, uh, I just want to see price, bro. Yeah, wait, shit, price. $200 for consultation. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, $200 for consultation. After that, they will tell me how much everything costs. Look at my charges. That's wild. Type shit. I mean, look. Hey, if he gonna get you free, though, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have to pay some shit than have to spend some time behind bars. I ain't gonna lie. Me, personally. And, think about it. He's helping these people out, right? He's helping out these alleged criminals. So if Jay only needs some shit on the outside, and he's like, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? Because there might be certain parts that you got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to check in or whatever. They're like, nah, that's Jay only good. He good around here type shit. So now he's he, he receiving certain accesses that, you know what I'm saying, regular civilians might not be able to get. So I actually kind of, like, I see the play on his part too, bro, helping out these people and shit like that. That's actually really good, bro. I'll take that real. That's days on And missing. he's just being a good Family? fucking guy at the end of the day. Kids. A lot of them, do the other I'm, side of the road. It's hot as fuck. In my kids' life, so it's like, they trying to take take that away from me. Sure. So ain't no money in the world. No, yo, change. chill, chill on my dog, Luca. He's injured right now. Chill. Good work, man. Dre, this is your motion to dismiss. All right, this is your ticket showing that you're done. All right, for both. Yeah, Twenty years. No, the other one's set for trial. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Go do what you gotta do, and then call me. Wow. So uh, what just happened? Three dismissals today. Hey, he looks happy. Yeah, yeah, he's very, very happy. He's, he's a free man. All right, so got that nigga off a judge, twenty year case. case. Mm -hmm. Um, look at me. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna kill this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, so you about to go get drug tested? Oh yeah, if Luca, if Luca doesn't, he's probably still not gonna play as well in game three, anyways. But like, yeah. but then they also don't have Porzingis, so it's like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. It could be up in air today. still. Test positive for any drugs? Positive. Yeah. It's just the way that they're guarding Kyrie. It's like Kyrie is like literally, like Kyrie's locked up right now, and that's because they're not letting him score. They're forcing him to pass the ball, and they just need to start like doing more screens and everything, like off ball, all that, so that way people can get like that way people can get open and then Kyrie can get open and then score. But he just like it's it's hard, bro. It's hard. The Celtics are playing very very good defense against the the Mavs. Yeah. Did you, no. you, you sure? If you test positive for weed or any other type of drugs, the reason why you're testing positive is because you're around people who do that. Right. And then because of secondhand inhalation, it's in your system. Pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, too. And um, if someone catches weed in your system, where did that come from? A secondhand smoke. So is this an average day? Average day. Yeah, insane, yeah. bro. Yeah.
in these Harris are grinders. County. In Harris County. Jayoma was grinding his balls off, going from case to case to case, opening door by door by door. The client wants to take a plea deal. This kind of hurts you a little bit. It hurts me because... You think you get a better deal? Oh, no, I think I can get this case dismissed, but... Go home. No, I watched the video, dude. I watched the video. You put a crack pipe in your pocket. The dudes, the cop stopped you. And then when he stopped you, you were resisting a little bit of arrest at the time he was putting why, you in handcuffs. Why did, he, why did he come back and bust a U-turn then? Because he can do that. Cops can do that sh But he went and bust another U-turn. They can do that. Cops can do 10 U-turns if they want to. When I told him I was already going home. It don't why matter. That, no, you put a crack pipe in your pocket and they find you with drugs in your pocket. The fuck? While JMO was getting a case dismissed, to my surprise, I met this nice young man outside. Um, what were you charged with? Terroristic threat. Terroristic threat? Yes. President Biden? No. <laughs> what, what is the charge? Uh, two girls. Okay. Like, we're, I'm gonna blow your house up, or? It was a shooting threat. Okay. Oh, wow. Um, what were you, did it, how did it play out? Well, I'm still in court right now. Um, I imagine, obviously, that was like an empty threat. Yes. Allegedly, assuming it even happened. Allegedly. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tight well, fit. The best for you, man. Any kids watching, don't do terroristic threats? Never. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, you go get them. Go kill them. Like, what? Look at that smile. You can't take that off. You don't get overwhelmed by the sheer quantity of cases? No, no, because it's all here. Yeah? Yeah. You have photographic memory? Uh, going down. I think so. But sadly, not everyone here at court today was as lucky to have someone like Jay Oma willing to attack their case, no matter the allegations or the overwhelming evidence going against them. How did it go? We met you at the security, and I just saw you pop out of court. Um, it went well. I am um, happy with what happened. I mean, I did what I was accused of, so I did guilty. Like guilty? I did, yes. Um, first offense, but everything works out the way it's supposed to. Okay. What were you accused of? Uh, DWI. Okay. Oh. It was a year ago and I made some pretty bad decisions, so. Okay. Any but. advice to anyone watching? Thought it was gonna be something crazier. I don't, I don't know why I was expecting like the worst possible thing. I was just like, whoa, like, please bro. He's <laughs> like. Um, just own up to what you did. I mean, it's so much easier if you just are honest. Yeah, don't snitch on yourself. <laughs> do not snitch on yourself. <laughs> then you got this thing and just like, like man, fuck that owning up on it's fuck that owning up shit. Do you do um, regret uh, defending any of your clients? Hundred percent is never, crazy. Never, never, it's always an honor to do that. This nigga parlay depend on that shit. That's why he said that. You think Jordan going six up in today's league? Uh, if he, like if we're talking about that same Bulls team that he had, yes. Because I don't even think he would have went six zero with the without that team that he had. But yeah, I, I think with that team, yeah. Ooh, today, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Actually, no, no. today, especially if he's on the... Because, wait, the Bulls are on the East, right? Yeah, hell yeah. He, what? He would have ran through that whole East. He would have ran through the whole East. Oh, without the team. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah no. You can't... You could literally put him on... If you put him on the Celtics... You can put him on the Bucks, actually. You got Dame running PG, Jordan uh, shooting guard, or or small forward, and then, oh, shit, current day Bucks. Yeah, never mind, yeah. Whew, that nigga would be lucky to even make it out of the first round. What if you had a client that went on to commit mass murder? Then they do that. Okay. Then they call me. <laughs> okay, so you, have you ever had any moral dilemmas in your head of like, man, what if I release a super villain with some great great defense no not at all uh, I see every person who comes across my table is um, a person who needs help okay and I mean that's technically not wrong but it's like fuck <laughs> like damn bro. I don't look at their personal issues their religion their their past sins they just need help just like how a doctor helps somebody who needs knee surgery I'm in for the kill right now <laughs> he smells blood in the water he's going in for the I mean, I guess that's true, right? Because if you look at it, right? Wait, 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 wait. All right. If you look at it, someone could have... Someone could need knee surgery, but you don't know why they need knee surgery. They could, like He's like, oh, yeah, I broke my knee because I need my girlfriend in the jaw, fractured her jaw, and then I broke my knee like in her jaw. Like You know what I'm saying? 
that's very possible, right? So, like, would you want to be like, oh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to perform surgery on this guy because he, like, abused his girlfriend, like, like, bro, it's your job, bro, your job is just to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't care about none of that other, like, fuck all the morality and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not guilty right now. He will acquit. All right, we'll be in the windows now. Good luck, Alan. Let's All right, Alan's going in. Oh, I'm getting those shark eyes, man. He's ready. All right, is he bringing out his client? Who will win, the defense or the prosecutors? Okay, it's looking good or no? How did it go? Fourth quarter post game interview. Tell me. All right, so Judge granted it was that quick. And then now my client is. Uh, Free to take off the interlock off his car. So what? Yeah. No, no, twenty years in prison. No, 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 definitely not. What? No, you no. did it just now? No, no. This is this is a different case. This is um, the DWI case. So he has a bond condition to keep a interlock on his car, which means he has to blow on it. Now I got it off, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So no felony as of now. No felony as of then. All right, next case. Damn. I think so. Damn. Hell yeah. That nigga just cooked. Okay. He's so fast. He's keep, he keeps going. Can we get a who's the best lawyer? Jail. Jail. Hey, who's who's the best lawyer? Elmo. There we go. He knows you, man. Your fame goes far and wide. You're a, you're a celebrity That's lawyer. That's crazy. Is <laughs> also lawyers. I am a lawyer. Yes. Are you a prosecutor or a defense attorney? Defense attorney. Okay. Yes. What defense is the best part about being a defense attorney? I get to help uh, innocent people every day. I'm saving their lives. I'm keeping them out of jail. Getting their case dismissed. Has anyone get ever one come case? to you and said like, I am guilty, but I don't want to go to jail? Yes. What All do you say time. to that? I say. Don't tell anyone that. <laughs> I got you. That's facts, actually. Like, it's actually facts. Okay. We're gonna fight for you. Or Don't t tell anyone you're guilty. What is one piece of advice um, for any criminal out there right now? Just keep your mouth shut. Turns out most good criminal defense attorneys think like this. His former prosecutor brought up an interesting point. I think people fail to understand that we're not for crime. Okay, we're for upholding the Constitution. Sure. And so this has only been um, my first year since I've been a criminal defense attorney. And I can tell you it's opened my mind and my eyes to a lot of things that prior other defense attorneys who I've worked with would tell me. Um, and so I think it's very important because we are responsible for protecting the Constitution. Sure. And That's so, tough. again, we are we don't like crime. This but make, what like, we it makes sense, though, want bro. To make sure like, the, like, seeing it from J. Elma's perspective and I guess, like, the lawyer perspective, this it actually makes a lot of sense. They're literally just doing their job, bro. Now, on the other hand, right, because it does have second and third order effects, like, you are putting this person who allegedly beat their significant other back onto the streets and potentially going back to do it again, right? And, yeah, that's true. But it's like, damn, well, like, I mean, from Jayla's perspective, he's just, they're calling him and he's doing a great job at getting them, you know, because he knows what he's talking about. He knows the law and everything. Like, he was like, oh, yeah, they went in your pocket. They didn't ask to go in there. Oh, they didn't have a pocket warrant. Oh, that's their fault. That's illegal for them. Like, we can get this whole thing dismissed. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I, I wouldn't even think of some shit like that. Like, that's insane, bro. I gotta move I gotta move to Houston now, so that way, any time I commit a crime, I can just call Jayoma. There is that each individual is represented fairly. I've seen many times people's constitutional rights violated. Sure. And so it brings me a lot of joy when I'm able to point those things out and I'm able to get certain cases dismissed. Thank you. Bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Bye. Not bye Felicia. Her, right her name's Felicia? <laughs> bye Felicia. Right. I get Take care. All the time. I got you. Do you have any thoughts about Jayoma? Oh that's fun. Oh, I know that shit sucks. Her name is Felicia? I'd be pissed bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be mad as hell bro. If, I, if my name is Felicia and then everybody's like oh bye Felicia. Bye Felicia. Like shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'd be mad young bro. Young attorneys promising upcoming lawyers that I've met in a okay. long time. Yeah. That's a strong Yelp review right there. Why do you think that is, Shama? Um, well, I'm relentless. Yes, he's like a shark. <laughs> Once he smells the scent, he does not get off. You go for blood? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Straight for the jugular? Straight for the jugular. All the time. Okay. Do you have any enemies in this courtroom? Uh, no enemies. We're just opponents. My opponents, <laughs> I'm talking prosecutors. Those who are trying to prove the criminals are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt and lock them up in prison. Let's talk to... Okay. I don't know why he just showed that. This nigga Jayoma, like, representing, like, Diddy, R. Kelly, like, that would be fucking absurd, bro. That's crazy. Like, how do you even think of, like, 
Dude, so, nah. All right, I'm here. That with, would be tough. Not at the Ortiz. Okay, you went to law school with Jaelma. Yes, I did. That what, what kind of bag is that? That Dutch Bros? What kind of bag is that? And you're prosecuting. What do you got in there? Yes, sir. A prosecutor. Yes, sir. What is the best? Thing? Oh, it's a Poke Bowl. Thing about being a prosecutor. It's really helping out the our complainants, right? It's just being there for them, I helping think. them out, making sure that justice is done. Uh, make sure that. You Tyler, what the fuck? I don't know. Has he had this suitcase in between his legs the whole time? I just, I just realized this. I just seen it. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, that nigga just excited to see him? You consider, you know, the defendant, complainant, the community. I mean, it's just, it's good work. Do you like the fact that you can put criminals with evidence behind bars? I mean, it's it's never, I mean, it's not like I like to enjoy doing it, right? I just. I mean, you could. Hey, there's no wrong answer here. I'm genuinely curious. I mean, it's it's never good to send somebody to prison, right? Well, I mean, unless they're like a serial rapist or murderer. Yeah, I mean, you're a prosecuting attorney? <laughs> yes. Yeah, What's true. the most interesting case you've done? Oh, wow. Well, I just do assault family members, and it's always. She looks like. Oh, all right. I can't explain it any further. The people who get it will get it. But she looks like a nerfed version of Pokemon. I can't explain further than that. But she just looks nerfed. It's very if you know, you know. The complainant actually wants to testify. Most of them don't. So I can't explain it further than that. That's just like the best way. Like when I see her, that ended up making us not win the case because she wasn't very likable. But it's a shame because she was assaulted. Interesting. I guess what are the biggest flaws in the legal system, if any, from your perspective? Just too many cases, not enough time, and yeah, we, we're just really overworked. Yeah. It's a safe place to give me a, an answer, honestly. No, no, I understand. And sometimes, I mean, it does it does feel good, okay. depending on the type of crime, but I mean, still, it's somebody's life, right? You have to consider that as well. Uh, but yeah, when, when the time is right, I mean, it is, it is right to send them to prison. Okay. Do you think jail was like the real life Better Call Saul? Um... But Asian? Huh. I'll but think about Asian. that. Could be, he could be. Oh, there he is. Uh, it's just it's like a chess game. Like me and you playing a chess game. That's all it is. Okay. There's nothing crazy about that. And Bingo. afterwards we shake hands. Got it. Right? They have it's not personal. No, no. But that. sometimes it has to get personal. Um, I've seen it where it can get personal, but to me that feel like that's a waste of time. Has anyone ever confessed to you that they've committed murder? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I mean, allegedly, of course. Allegedly, but it's like they weren't right. in the right state of mind when they said that, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, well, of course. But my curiosity was <laughs> beat. What drives Jaoma to fight to keep the bad guys out of jail versus in jail? So tell me, once you became an attorney, how did you decide to become a defense attorney versus a prosecutor? Um, so I was interning for a DA's office, and I was able to see the other side and how they just lock people up. And, you know, I said, oh, I can do this. You know, I can I'm lock everybody up. That's, that's my number one goal because I like to win. Um, and then one of the defense attorneys said, hey, just come see our side for a little bit. I said, all right, I have no problem with that. You know, I'm curious. Sure. So I went to go see a trial, and there was a guy who was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, the deadly Type weapon sure. being a car. Okay. And they're alleging that he tried to run over uh, his wife uh, with that vehicle. Yeah. I went Damn. through the whole trial. It was a three-day trial. Uh, they found him guilty. And so it was hurtful because oh, I was God. speaking to him just like I'm speaking to yeah. you. Yeah. And it was just normal stuff. How you know where. You know, we're cordial, we're fine, we're joking around. And it's really like, he's looking at 20 years. He was arguing, uh, I found him guilty, and the client started crying. And Damn. so that touched me the first time. And the second time is, um, you know, the deputies came around him, there's three of them surrounding him, treated him like property. He was no longer like, cool anymore. Put your hands behind your back, um, you're coming with us, and he's just sobbing. And so a grown man cries different from like, a fake cry. <laughs> so then we have to go visit him at the jail. And, um, <laughs> He said, that's what a girl burned up. She goes, say, I'm itching him. <laughs> oh, hell nah. Nah, she getting too comfortable. Nah, she playing with you. She playing too much. Was with, first thing he said was, don't kill yourself. Oh. And then the guy looked him in the face, looked me in the face, and he just sobbed. And he was like, and he gave this impression that I might as well just do it. Because he was, I think, 45 at the time. So that's pretty much his whole life, right? Sure. But then I found out that later on that there was a retrial that was granted because uh, one of the prosecutors withheld evidence. So mm. and that's crooked. Yeah, yeah, and that w that evidence was uh, a recording of the girl saying, "If you don't pay for my shit or do what I want you to do, I'm gonna make up this lie, and you're gonna pay for it." And what? so the whole system went through, and he was found guilty, but he didn't do it, and that evidence would have helped in his trial. So, if he had a better defense attorney. 
his life wouldn't have been ruined. Definitely, definitely. So that's why I fight for all the evidence that's out there because it's really important. If you don't get that, that guy was looking at 20 years. Um, and then now he's free and walking. So it's one of those things where you just, oh my God, you were just about to go 20 years and then you're out. So that touched me and I said, you know what? There's more people vulnerable in this world. And I need to put all my talents and my effort into protecting the public. So that's why I became a defense attorney. He almost saw his clients the Thanks, same sir. way as a doctor would someone with an injury. He what was the here fuck? to help them, regardless of what they're alleged. <laughs> Same way as a doctor okay. would someone using with an Johnny Sins there is crazy. But what the fuck is this Asian Superman bullshit? What the <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> this might actually be the thumbnail, bro. I might actually make this the thumbnail, bro. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Just look at his face. Regardless of what their alleged crime was, and while it's easy to more bro, criticize what the his fuck? work for some of the viral supervillains that Jayoma helped free back onto the streets, Sorry, some sir. are just young dudes on the bad side of an outdated law, like this guy charged with allegedly possessing marijuana. What's going on, man? Now, yeah, that's just yeah, dumb, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna How are you? Good morning. Good morning. We have some bad news today. Pray for me, Nana. Pray for him. I love you too. What's going through your head right now? I don't know. Okay. Nervous. <laughs> okay. What do you think the chances of your case being dismissed are? Highly chances, no probable cause. So okay. Okay. I should be good, probably. I don't know though. Okay. We're gonna see if we find out right now. All right, we're about to find out. All right, Jamar. You doing good? Yeah, I'm good. You remember the last thing I told you when I left? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna get this case dismissed. So let me tell you, I got this dismissed. <laughs> this guy was on your case. Why did I do that? Because I, I love this job. That's so. Not only that, but it's my way to give back. You know why it was dismissed? Yeah. My name was on this case. The old ones, hey, the old ones just as good, though. I ain't gonna lie. You can get right with some old ones. They can put you on game, though. But I mean, after, after you've gotten enough game after a while, like, it's like. It probably don't do you no difference. So that's the reputation that I built for myself. A lot of that I, I think like after 35-ish, they just start getting real freaky. I don't know. Let's try to make an they example get, of each they, case. They so then everybody can see what fuck. I do and what can happen to your case if you don't dismiss it. So oftentimes it kind of gives a message to any prosecutor out there that if my name is on the case, yeah. just don't f*** with it. Yeah. Hey, Jayoma, can you do the thing? Who's the best lawyer? Jayoma. Yeah. Is she going to be hyped? Yeah, she's going to be hyped. All right, let's go. Yeah, she's going to be hyped. All right, we, we got to get this. <laughs> what do you think she's going to say? I don't know. She's going to be hyped, right? She should be. She should. We have some <laughs> bad news. <laughs> tell, her, tell her what happened. Bro, my kids got dismissed, bro. Let's go. <laughs> What's going through your head? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. Okay. Are you guys gonna celebrate after this? Yeah, we finna celebrate. We finna have a baby. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. There you go. I'm happy. With one young dude freed from his weed charges. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, all I've, over a weed charge is crazy, though. Right. Jayoma and I That's walked to the local prison to check in on one of his clients, waiting to hear an update from him. At that moment, I realized Jayoma was married to the game. And Jayoma, how often do you come here? I see this on your story all the time. Uh, I come here as often as I can. Uh, whenever I have some updates from my clients who are in the jail, then I come here and give them an update. So then I can do whatever I can to just make sure that they know I'm here and I'm not leaving. And you're kind of doing this as like a psychological, emotional check-in on these people. Yeah, yeah, because... Like you're not alone. I'm here for you. We're going to figure this out. You're not alone. Um, your family hired me to be here, so I'm here. And I want to make sure you get an update of everything that I'm doing on the case and then what the, the progress of that case. And let's see you go in there. They know you by name? Yes, Jay <laughs> a Mobile lawyer, will you take a call anywhere, anytime? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it doesn't matter to me because people need me. So what if you're getting freaky with a, a 10 out of 10? Getting freaky, I think I'll still take that call. Actually? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nah, this you nigga's locked any, in. Um, that nigga's that locked in, bro. That nigga's locked in, bro. You in the middle. You in the middle of fucking something, and you just like, hold on, hey, the hey, the work phone ringing, hold on, game, like, feel me? Give me like, give me five minutes, give me five minutes. Let me just figure out, you know what I'm saying? Let me make sure this case get dismissed. Oh, freaking bad. Like, hold on, no, right? No, nah, no, that's nah. He's locked in for just, life. He's you know, day by he's day. a for life for games, sure. So, what do you play? Uh, Red Dead Redemption, and then Breath of Auto Six. I should be should be coming out, and I'm excited for that. Ooh. So if they can only put me in there as an attorney Ooh. in GTA Six, I'll be down for it. You have to pay me. Hey, GTA Six RP, bro. Somebody got to make a Jayoma, bro. Making a lawyer in GTA 
is low-key, like, fire RP, I'm not gonna lie. I just don't know enough about, like, the legal system to even try to, like, fight that. But being a lawyer in GTRP would be fucking fire, bro. I, I already have a couple ideas for characters. Um, I think GTA 5 RP is pretty much dead, so I would have to wait till GTA 6 anyways. But... Like, I, I got a couple ideas for some characters, bro. Like, I got, this, like, I got like, maybe four or five characters, like, written down. So, like, for different servers, I could be, like, a different. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had my one, uh, the racist cowboy character. That was, that was probably my favorite character that I made in GTA 5 RP. And then, like, obviously everybody's had, like, a gang, gang member character. And then, <clears throat> the cult leader character was, uh, probably my favorite too, actually. We thought he was a real lawyer. I thought it was just kids. <laughs> no, I seen him, and I was just like, I I don't know why everybody was so like, I, I, they were all like, oh shit, is he? I'm like, I didn't know who the fuck he was until like I saw this video, and I was just like, oh shit, like he's a like he's legit, like he's he's dead ass a real fucking lawyer. I thought he was just like some social media lawyer, because like, you know some people just get on the internet and just be like pretending this shit for the cameras but this nigga he's dead ass hey rockstar if you're watching this put jayoma in the game that'd be crazy yeah i bet you that actually is possible okay, so i'm here oh, with i'm 100 yeah, okay mean, where are we at right now i'm harris county jail uh, why are we here um i'm here visiting my husband and so is jayoma okay and what is jayoma in relation to your husband he's representing him okay Does this experience have affected you having your loved one in jail um, very hard, just, yeah. um, you know, he's been there for six months, so just okay. dealing with, you know, life to life, um, Type it's, shit. it's been really hard. Okay. And Joe, what are your thoughts on dismissing the case? Do you think it's possible? I'm doing whatever I can to get it dismissed. Okay. So it's ironic that I ran into her, because okay. I'm going to go visit him today, so. Okay. Yeah. You have faith in this guy? Yes. How important is this information you're about to bring to your client? Oh, it's very important. The charge is... Um, it's involving children, so I can't talk about the charge, but it's pretty, pretty bad, bad, crazy accusations. So I want to make sure that, you know, I'm not, I'm not leaving them. I'm here, and that, you know, I have to make sure that the truth is shown. That's your job. Yeah. All right, Thank so, <clears throat> Jayoma, go get him. All right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. One man versus the entire criminal justice system. But while Jayoma is casually dismissing some of the worst charges imaginable, you have to wonder how Jayoma became Jayoma. All right, Jayoma, where are we in front of right? You have to wonder how Jayoma... Stop. There's no fucking way this was him, bro. There, I I refuse to believe this is Jayoma, bro. Became Jayoma. There's no fucking way. All right, Jayoma, where are we in what? front of right now? We're in front of South Texas College of Law. This is the oldest law school College in of Law. It is. What led South you to come Texas. here? When I first started, I grew up in Ailey, Texas. Went to Ailey Hastings High School, which you guys will see later. And then from there, I went to Houston Community College to be a nurse. So I was a nurse for a good amount of time oh, in my shit. life. And then from then, I decided I wanted to become a lawyer. And I stumbled upon South Texas. What the fuck? From nurse to lawyer is insane, bro. This nigga just loves school. Cause all I'm all I'm hearing is a bunch of school time. It's college of law. And real quick, what took you from being a nurse to wanting to become a lawyer? Uh, the winning aspect. So being a nurse, you don't really have an opponent. You don't have like a thing that you can win. There's no moving target. You have a disease, you just treat it with antibiotics or whatever it needs to be done. It was very boring. No, that's why I fuck with Jayoma, bro. I fuck with this nigga. Cause this nigga always he all about winning some shit, bro. This is a fucking winner right here, bro. He just wants to win, bro. And he I guess it was a little too easy trying to be like the prosecutor. Cause it's like you can easily like point hold poke holes into it. But it's like being the defense attorney, it's a it's a I feel like it's more complex trying to See, like, oh, yeah, this person committed mass murder, but he didn't actually do it. It was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think outside the box for this shit, bro. So, it's more, I feel like it's more fun that way, bro. And it's like, I feel like the wins that you get are more rewarding af after that shit, too, bro. Like, di like, this, like, look at this nigga, bro. He's locked in right now, bro. What I did enjoy about sports fuck with that. there's always one winner and one loser. Yeah. And I was thinking, what kind of career can I get to be fulfilled in that type of mm -hmm. aspect? And that's when I thought about law. I didn't like doctors, so they treated me bad. And did you play sports growing Time's up as a up. kid? Were you super competitive? I was very, very competitive. Yeah, I played football, track, uh, basketball. I was fat. I was 400 pounds. 400 pounds? pounds? Yes. You're That's what I was me. No, I was playing offensive lineman. I'll send you pictures. <laughs> 
How did you lose 200 Fucking pounds? Crazy. Uh, a lot of running and a lot of salads. This has never before heard Jail Malore. No. During the whole entire time, uh, I ended up working retail. I was getting paid $8 an hour, and all I cared about was uh, just trying to eat that day. To put it into perspective, I could only afford one bowl of Chipotle in a day, and I had to divide that into threes. So in the morning I eat one third, afternoon I eat one third, and at nighttime, and that was all I could eat. I if mean, I looked down, I couldn't see my dick. That's how fat I was. How are you running four <laughs> minute miles if you were 400 pounds? Hey, just because you're a big guy doesn't mean you're slow. <laughs> no way! Yeah, I'm not. Wait, did a nigga say a four minute mile? That's bullshit. But ain't no, ain't no nigga that's 400 pounds running a four minute mile. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. But I do know some fat niggas that are fast, though. I do know some fat niggas that are fast. Like, like what are the gyms I be going to, chat? Niggas that hoot, right? When I tell you this nigga is like maybe six foot, I think he's six foot one, six foot two. Biggest shit. This nigga gotta be like 350 pounds, bro. This nigga is fat as hell. But when this nigga gets up the court, bro, he like, bro, he dribble. Or I don't, I don't even understand how how this nigga does it, bro. He's built like that one Escalade nigga, huh? I think was it Escalade balls life. Yeah, this, bro, he was, he's built like this, bro. Like, dead ass, like, this, like, sloppy build, like, big as shit. Bro, this nigga was, oh, my God. Oh, wait, no, 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 this 6'8". Th this nigga, yeah, yeah, this nigga. He was built like this, bro. Like, it just looked, oh, my God, bro, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, actually. Knocking people out, like. So, just, like, this mentality you fat as fuck too. the court. Yeah. What the you fuck? You have to be aggressive. Kill or be killed. There you go. I had to see I someone at her. Then I saw the name who it was. 2016, I believe, to 2017. Like winter. one baddie drove from my class. With tattered clothes and a hole in her <laughs> shoe. And, and shoot like, my this shot like David Lillard. Yes, yes. I remember studying my butt off. I'm 100% of a student. I'm living off my savings. So you didn't cook. coming in. And I remember it was rainy. It was cold. I was wearing tattered clothing. And I recall uh, leaving the building, coming right around this corner and just saying it better be f***ing worth it because life sucks so bad right now. And did you think you would go on to achieve this dream of owning a practice and it being this successful? I did. I had 100% belief in myself that I would do it. It was just how we're going to get it done. That's where the whole story comes through right after law school. Did you have natural talent for law? I would say that I was very nervous for public speaking. As of right now, for me to even speak in front of a judge would make me, well back then, it would make me tremble. Do you think the average person gives up on their dreams right when they're about to achieve them? Yes. Yes, so I say just keep going. I chose this law school because it had a reputation of being a killer in the courtroom. And I always thought that nobody would respect you as an attorney or your legal threats if you can't back it up going to trial. And I learned a lot from the, uh, the law school and the, the training at trial. After seeing the law school Jayoma grinded to barely be able to afford, we headed over to Bissonette Street near the apartment Type Jayoma shit. grew up in. Like 10 drug dealers behind me right now. That's insane this is more though. district known for prostitution. Jayoma's oh, growing up what? in the trenches out here. All right, we're in Bissonette, also known as the Blade, the red light district here in Houston. Jayoma, you grew up here? I did, Court Glen, 9700. That's where <laughs> I grew up, right down these streets. This place is no joke. I used to run around here all the time. How you doing, man? What's all doing? Oh, hey, we're just doing a little documentary with Jayoma. He's a criminal oh, defense attorney. I do criminal defense. You see my face before? Oh. And I grew up here. No, hey, no, 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 I'm an attorney. I help, uh, he I help people who are charged. Yeah. If you get charged with a crime, I got your back. Yeah. I don't work for the cops. No, fuck that. I help people who get charged with a crime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you got any cases, you, I got you. All right, let me get my card. I, I grew up here, right down over there. All right, I got you, I got you, I got you. Sorry, sorry. Um, so, Jayoma, these, uh, a lot of people you defend probably come from here, or what? Yeah, probably. Uh, it was really, really poor, but, you know, you had a lot of friends, and we'd always get into stupid trouble, we'd do stupid sh uh, that's just being a kid. And then, uh, good thing that we didn't get any charges, but it was close. We're kind of in the trenches right now, yeah? Yeah, we are. Okay, so you went to high school here. I did. Were you a villain back then? Ninth grade center. Uh, I guess you could say What's that. a ninth grade yeah, center? You were a tank, and this is when you were taking people's food, too? Yeah, yeah. On a scale of one to ten, Seven how much of a menace were you? It wasn't that bad. I would say like, probably like a five or six. Did you get girls back then? No, no. She nobody wants somebody who's 400 pounds. Blocked Do you think deleted me. Why didn't you just give her the recap? Yo, as, nah, nah, hell, Without you did that one to yourself. You would have ended up um, as one of the clients that you defend? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then there was actually a heartbreak story when it comes to that. Tell no. me more. All right, so I believe one of the first girlfriends I had broke my heart. I was a nurse and um, I was dating her for a I couple times. Shit. All of a sudden, after about, I don't know, two months, cold turkey Nigga, what are you studying then? And didn't pick up my phone calls and I was worried 
I thought something happened to her. And then I kept calling like two days later. Then um, her friend called me and said, hey, this person doesn't want to talk to you anymore. I said, why? why? She owes me an explanation. So then I got her to come out and this is after the nursing. Suck and she said, dick, um, what, what do you want? I want to know what's going on. Like, what, why did you just stop talking? The that's fuck? Rude. And uh, she said, um, you know, she got a new guy and she said this. She, she looked at me Come dead in the eye and she goes, yes, you're a nurse. Inside. He's a stockbroker. And that's so exactly. You're poor and you're not cool? Yeah, pretty much. And that stuck with me to this day. You're a nurse. He's a stockbroker. I literally remember it every time I do things in my life. And it actually motivates me. Whether it be poverty, Type obesity, shit. or heartbreak, Yo, what are the common these theme in Jayoma's life is Bro. him relentlessly attacking and killing any obstacle that's ever gotten in his way and creating possibilities seemingly out of thin air to that's achieve a good his miss. dreams. But he didn't get here without getting his hands a little dirty. How do you dress when you're not in a suit? I've never seen you in anything but a suit. Are oh, you about to see it tonight? Actually? Yeah. I'm not going to wear a suit tonight. Why would I wear a suit tonight? Well, where are we going tonight? We're going to go to a place that uh, I used to dance at at one time and uh, it's gonna be a fun experience. Things are about to get freaky. I don't even know what to expect. The fuck? No, um, are one. you gay? No, I used to be a male stripper over here. What? One of the best entertainment that we have going on in Houston, Texas. And your job as a male stripper funded your entire law firm? The entire law firm, from having zero to having what I have now, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for this place, this opportunity, the community, and Tony the man himself. And how long were you a male stripper? For about two years. Those two years were rough. I'd come here at nighttime, <laughs> and in the mornings I'd be in court. Warrior by day, dancing by night. And look who we have. Tony. Tony! Hey! Tony, who are you? My name is Tony Vaccaro. Can I take you for a walk? Let's go. Okay. Hey, let's go. All right, Jayoma, how long have you each other? Since I started here. Okay. Yeah, that was for two years. How was this guy? Beautiful! Beautiful? Can we do some moves tonight? <laughs> no. No moves. No? No. Yes. no? You did this to fund your dream and Tony was your supporter? Like he uh, he allowed me to come dance here, introduce me to the staff, and everybody has been Yo. so welcoming. Did you think your dream would take you to being a male stripper That's fucking to fund insane. That dream? Did no. you think you would come here to make that dream a reality? I didn't know that. All I knew, I was getting paid $8 an hour. It's hard to build a dream that way, especially if you're working 40 hours or 40 plus hours for retail. So here was just a better opportunity and I only had to work maybe three days, two days a week. What did your girlfriend think about you being a full male time stripper and lawyer? We broke up. We broke up because of this? Yeah, she, because of this. And it was her idea. All right, we got to see you take a shot. Oh, you're taking a doubler right there. That's a tripler. All right, I'll take one. Let's go. Tony, have you missed this guy? Yes. Yeah? Was he good stuff? Yes. We have rules. One of them is to use this as a stepping stone. Okay. Do you Type think that's it. what he did? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Tony that's fucking crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's it. That's crazy lore, bro. A girl, the like, you're him in the lawyer world, and then they find out like, yo, before this, you used to be a fucking male stripper to fund that. Like, yo, that's a crazy plot twist, bro. I would have never fucking guessed that shit. What the fuck? You gotta give me some tips. How do I try to run it now? What did it go on? Mail stripping the series? <laughs> bro, I'm not mail stripping. Stop, bro. No, bro. I'm not mail. I wouldn't ever mail strip. That's just not. That just wouldn't be my thing. I don't know what my thing would be, but like th this wouldn't be my thing. That's This isn't my body right here. Listen to Tony. Mail stripping isn't my body. Dancer. I know you're a good dancer from what I hear. He was the one that, um, the best right here. Actually? Yeah. One of the I'm best. I'm just saying this because we have an iPhone. No, 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 no. He was one of the best here. Yeah. How was this guy's a dancer? Oh, you recorded this on an iPhone type shit? He needed work, but, you know, <laughs> I showed him a couple of moves. How to swing a thing. He was pretty good, man. He was entertaining because there, there is a competition right here. And everybody's in, in competition. Oh, God. Yeah, don't get this nigga started with a competition. Look at this nigga. He heard a competition. He already locked in. Competition. Yeah, this guy made it. Made it like a muffin. It seems like Jayoma can succeed in whatever he puts his mind to. From the pole to the bar exam, Jayoma's life story is an example of the American dream coming true. In a soft world, always that's looking fire. for excuses, Jayoma looks that's for fire. blood. And that's why he'll beat you and your case. What's a message for the people watching at home that they should walk away with? Don't ever give up on your dreams. Right? Like use that's every facts. Stone, every opportunity to get to where you want to get to. Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let your fear stop you. Because you're the only one who can... It's right. I agree. 
And yeah. Jayoma, if anyone out there needs your legal representation, where can they find you? Jayoma Law Firm uh, on any type of social media, jayomalaw.com. Just give us a call. And Jayoma, you gave me this fresh t-shirt. I'm one of one right now. Can they buy any? Yes. Jayomalaw.com. Find us. Mr. Beast once said in an interview. Okay. That all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, this is, uh... Has anyone ever... That's... Damn. Okay. Oh, shit, I forgot the comment section's right here. Every criminal in the city going to be a... <laughs> no, facts, bro. I need to go a lot. Facts. Bro, isn't a lawyer, he's a professional gaslighter. But, I mean, that's technically d the good part. A smile and admitting to I need to be locked up. I don't need to be free. Wait, who said that? I watched the whole damn video. I don't remember that. Like I was saying, you don't need a criminal lawyer. You need a criminal lawyer. <laughs> this is why I've been fighting the same villains every other week. Oh my gosh, having like a Jayoma type character in the Batman universe. Oh my god, that'd be fucking insane. Batman locks the fucking dude up. Jayoma gets him out. And then fucking, uh, oh my gosh, that would be fucking insane. Holy shit. Yeah, that'd be tough, bro. That'd be tough. Now nah, this is a this is a really good video though. Really, really informative shit. I did not, I I didn't know anything about Jayoma lore until now. Really good video.